A word of the day. A word of the day comes from the book of Second Chronicles, verse 20. Second Chronicles, chapter 20, verse 20. And it says, B. This is the second half of the verse. It says, believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. Believe his prophets, and you shall prosper. Amen. Believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. Believe his prophets, and you shall prosper. I know the Lord is truly telling us all to just believe in him, believe in his word, believe in his promises. And we truly will be established. We will be grounded and rooted in the word and in him. And that's what all he asks is just us to put our faith and our trust in him. Listen to the word, understand the word. And if we don't seek prophets or seek the the pastors or elders to help you interpret the word. But I know God is truly telling us all today that we're going to see a lot of things and a lot of things are going to happen. There's going to be a lot of false teachings and prophecies and word being spread throughout this world. But we just need to continue to just believe in him and listen to those who he has put entrusted to us. And we will truly prosper. Amen to that. In Genesis 15, 6, it says, And he believed in the Lord, and he accounted to him for righteousness. And he believed in the Lord, and he accounted to him, he accounted it to him for righteousness. So I read that. This is talking about Abraham. You know, Abraham believed in the Lord and it was truly accounted to him for righteousness. It wasn't nothing that Abraham had done. It wasn't on his own strength. It was just that when Abraham heard what the Lord said, he did what he said. And not always, but most of the time he did. There are times when he didn't listen to the Lord and he went out and did his own thing, just like we do. Because we don't believe. We even hear that Blessings are coming and we don't believe it. And then when we look and see something that we think might be a blessing and we go out and we do it and then we realize that it wasn't a blessing at all. It set us back because it wasn't from the Lord. And we do it our own. God doesn't want us to believe in ourselves. He truly wants us to believe in him. And this is what was accounted to Abraham for righteousness. He didn't believe in any of himself. He believed in the Lord. And that was accounted to him for his righteousness. The same holds true for us today. We cannot continue to believe in ourselves and believe in others and trust in the system and people and, and all of that. That's not truly what God wants us to do. God wants us to believe in the Lord, believe in him. And it says back in the Leviathan verse, and we will prosper, we will be blessed, everything. It will account to us for his righteousness. And we will know that it's from the Lord and not we of ourselves because we can't take credit for what God has done. And we should never, ever do that. in chapter 1 verse 13 and it says in him you also trusted after you heard the word of truth the gospel of your salvation and whom also having believed you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise praise the Lord we have heard the word and trust the word this is what faith is all about, trusting and believing in our Lord. We have given our life to him, and we are now sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. We are truly called to surrender everything to him and trust in him and believe in him. 
we always pray that the Spirit guide us every day to what God wants us to do. And that holds true every day of our lives. Because we are sealed with that Holy Spirit. We are sealed with the promise of our Lord Jesus Christ. What are those promises? Some of those promises that the Lord will never forgive, never leave us, nor forsake us. The Lord hears our prayers and he will answer our prayer. This is the truth. Do we have heard the truth? We know that by his stripes we will be healed, and we know that by the salvation of the Lord we have a place after this place. Holy place of the Lord. In Jeremiah 12, verse 6, it says, For even your brothers, the house of your fathers, even have dealt treacherously with you. Yes. They have called the multitude after you. Do not believe them, even though they speak smooth words to you. Amen. The, the terrible thing about other people saying other words and preaching their own gospel, and it's going to sound good. It's, you know, it's going to cause itching ears. It's going to cause people to focus on things that they want to hear. Most of the people want to hear stuff that's gonna is comfortable for them. They don't want to hear hard truth or hard words, which the Bible is full of hard words and hard truths. We have to learn how to discern and believe not them because their speak is smooth. They know exactly what to say to get people to fall. And it's going to get worse and worse as the years and the days and the minutes go by. So I encourage everyone to just believe the word. Look in the word. If you hear something you don't, you don't agree with or you don't think what's right or you might sound good, but you never heard it before, go look in the word. And you'll find if it's in the word, then it's okay. If it's not in the word, then it was man's man's word. The smooth talking words that people speak. And do not truly, God did not want them to believe them. Those are things that make people fall astray and take their hearts away from God. And God truly doesn't want any of us to fall astray. In Psalm 27, verse 13, it says, I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I would see the good, goodness of God in the land of the living. Praise the Lord for that. Do not lose heart and continue to believe, my brothers and sisters. I know things sometimes look rough and tough, and sometimes things don't fall the way we want them to fall. And sometimes we suffer a little bit and have pains and you know, but the word here is saying, do not lose heart. It says, I would have, uh, I would have lost heart, but I'm saying, do not lose heart because we do believe and we have truly seen the goodness of the Lord in this day. And we will continue to see the goodness of the Lord because God is truly with us for those who truly believe. Mark 5, verse 36, it says, As soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he said to the rulers of the synagogue, Do not be afraid, only believe. Praise the Lord. I say to, in Romans 10, 10, it says, For with one's heart one believes into righteousness, and with, one's, and with the mouth one confesses, his confession is made into salvation. Praise the Lord. Believing. Believing with your heart, your mind, and your soul. Praise the Lord. Lord, we thank you for this word today. We thank you for just reminding us to just believe in you. To just surrender everything to you. 
we know your word truly tells us that you are with us. You are with those who believe. There are promises and prospering for those who believe. Blessings come to those who believe. Blessings come to those who follow you and put their faith in you as well. But we know that this is something you have to help us do. We cannot do these things on our own. We still have things in our hearts and that we need to be lifted and taken away and delivered from. And we have issues that's going on that we need to, re that you need to resolve. We do. But we have to believe that you can do them. And that's the key to this all. You hold the key. You hold the key to our lives. So help us to believe. If we have unbelief, help our unbelief. Bless us all today. Give us your peace and love today. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his contents upon you and give you all peace, love, and belief today. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. God bless you all and have a wonderful day in the Lord.